A woman whom police say posed as a veterinarian, even doing surgery on animals, was back in court this morning. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Leon Bibb. News Channel 5 investigator Sarah Butterson is following the story for us. She joins us live from Akron. Sarah, Brandy Tomko faces many charges. Tell us what happened inside that courtroom today. Well, I can tell you, Leon, that Brandy Tomko cried and hung her head during the court proceeding this morning. She may soon have even more reasons to shed some tears. Police officers tell me that she could face even more charges after our original story aired last week. About two dozen pet owners have come forward with complaints. Brandy Tomko was in court for her first pretrial hearing on a 33 count indictment. As you said, Leon, she's accused of pretending to be a veterinarian. Police say she wrote prescriptions, drew blood, and even operated on animals at C&D Animal Hospital in Akron. Her motive? Getting cash to buy heroin. Kenny Raymond was in court today, too. He's the pet owner who led the charge to bring Brandy to justice. I know he didn't, my dog didn't die for anything, for nothing now, so. At least she's been exposed, and I just hope the judge isn't lenient. Tomko is still in jail on $100,000 bond. She'll be back here in court on April 30th. Tonight at 5, we have exclusive interviews with two women who say Brandy Tomko was abusing animals at a local shelter as well. On your side, I'm investigator Sarah Buttison, News Channel 5. Sarah, much of this came to light as a result of your report. Is that correct? I would love to take all the credit, Leon, but I, other folks reported this as well. Our story, of course, was first and got out there and got the word out that this woman who was running this animal hospital was not, in fact, a vet. So Kenny, who shared his story about his dog dying, is really the hero of this story because without him pressing for charges and without him sh sharing his story with us, police probably wouldn't be looking at being able to press even more charges against her for pretending to be a veterinarian. Sarah Butterson, many thanks.